everyone, I am Lynette Sharon. In the previous video, we learnt about taxes and how to configure them in ERP Next. In this video, we will learn about payment entries and journal entries. By the end of this video, you will have learnt what are journal entries and how to create them in ERP Next and what are payment entries and how to create them in ERP Next. Apart from sales and purchase transactions, businesses also perform various other transactions like processing salaries, reimbursing expenses, receiving interest on bank deposits, depreciating assets, etc. Such transactions need to be recorded with all the relevant details to prepare the financial statements. To record such transactions, we use the journal entry. Journal entry is a record of the transaction the company has conducted and it contains the date of transaction, the accounts and the amounts that will be debited, the accounts and amounts that will be credited and their description. The journal entry will impact at least two accounts and the total debit will match the total credit. Payment entry is created to record the receipt of money from a customer or a supplier. To record the payment of money to a customer or a supplier or to transfer money internally from one bank account to another bank account etc. To view the list of journal entry from home Click on Accounting and then on Journal Entry under General Ledger. You can also navigate directly using the awesome bar. Click on Add Journal Entry and select Entry Type, Company and Posting Date. In the Accounting Entries table, select the account and enter the amount in the debit or credit column. Click on Add row and select the account and enter the amount in the debit or credit column. Additionally, details like the accounting dimensions and references can also be entered. Finally, click on Save and Submit. If a journal entry is posted periodically, you can save details like company, journal entry type and accounts in a journal entry template. These details can be easily imported when creating the journal entry. If the total debit amount does not match the total credit amount make difference entry button is shown. When clicked, a new row is added with the difference amount and you can select the right account and save the journal entry. If the accounts selected in the journal entry have different currencies involved, tick multi-currency checkbox. To view the list of payment entry from home, click on Accounting and then on Payment Entry under Accounts Payable or Accounts Receivable. You can also navigate directly using the awesome bar. Click on Add Payment Entry, set the posting date, payment type and payment mode. Next, select the party type party and enter paid amount. If the payment entry being posted is related to a transaction, you can select it in the reference section. Enter the check or reference number and check or reference date under the transaction ID section. Click on save and submit. Alternatively, you can create a payment entry from the sales or purchase transaction directly.
Hope you found this video helpful in understanding journal entries and payment entries. You can learn more about ERP Next at docs.erpnext.com. In our next video, we will learn about reports in ERP Next.